Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Marco Pierre White is a very famous British chef and he's the first British chef to win three count them three Michelin stars. He's also been credited to influence and train the likes of Gordon Ramsay but it's not this guy that's the topic of discussion in fact it's his kid Marco Pierre White Junior. So Junior is probably most famous for his appearance on Big Brother 2016 and most notably what's been hitting the headlines is his conversion to Islam in prison. So Junior has struggled with drug addiction since he was 13, now he's 28 years old and it's not your Mickey Mouse type of drugs, it's the big dogs yeah like cocaine and the heroin. <laughs> and not to mention this guy has been in and out rehab 17 times mate and these guys have spent a million pounds trying to kick his drug habit be it rehab or booking this or doing that but it hasn't worked and he goes but Islam has helped me get through everything. So on the one hand they're spending millions of pounds yeah and on the other hand you've got Islam for free mate. So the article goes on to say that after accepting Islam he has significantly reduced his alcohol, he prays five times a day and he supplicates. So why? What was it that pushed him over the edge? Well it was the fact that he was lost, finally when he was in prison he said he had time to reflect and because he was brought up in a bubble it really opened his eyes and it was at that time he read the Quran, he heard the Quran, he was sitting around Muslims and hearing about Islam and he said it resonated with him. So there you go guys, a free connection with God and this is available to you and me. Yeah, Even when we got the phone you have to be in certain places for you to get good reception but you could be anywhere, you could be in the darkest cave, on the tallest mountain you will get all the bars and the perfect connection with God all of the time mate, at night when you're alone, when you're pissed out of your skull mate, yet whatever the time or moment you can always call out to God. You don't need an intermediary, you don't need no fancy equipment to pray, you don't need to be splashing loads of money anywhere mate, yeah anywhere you can raise your hands and you can pray to God, well that's a supplication but the prayer itself you can pray in the garden mate, you can pray on the side, at home, at the mosque, wherever, that's the beauty and people are trying to monetize it and make places of worship look grand but most of them are doing it because they want to invest, it doesn't mean that the places of worship and the things associated to worship require that, well not in Islam anyway. So this principle in Islam is true, you find God you find yourself and as God says in the Quran, forget me and I will make you forget yourself. And this is the state of many people that we see around us. So again I think it should be reiterated that he spent a million pounds, fancy buildings, fancy equipment, professionals from everywhere mate, but he just didn't do the job because as human beings we are the physical and we are the spiritual. Islamically we believe that we are spiritual beings having a physical experience and what we're doing, what society is teaching us or trying to push us towards is materialism which is feeding our body but starving our soul and it's only so far that you can make it in life whilst you are starving your soul. It's like not giving petrol to a car mate, it's not gonna get very far. So the beauty with Islam is number one it's relevant mate yeah, even now you read the Quran you will see how relevant it is. Is there any wonder why it's being mentioned in the media, by people, by professors, it's on the lips of everyone mate. Number two it's preserved be it orally, be it in terms of manuscript, be it in terms of language and number three it's effective yeah it's effective. You can see this guy riddled in tattoos, spending millions but eventually he goes to Islam, he's left prison now, those guys aren't following him out but he still stays steadfast mate yeah and may Allah keep him steadfast and those of you that are sitting on the fence get off the fence guys, life is not meant to be lived on the fence. I'm gonna put a link for you to order your free Quran and check out the rest of the videos as well and most importantly Muslim or non-Muslim whatever you're going through raise your hands and speak, talk with your creator mate talk. Let's leave it there guys until next time. Assalamu alaikum.